In this video, we'll be learning how to solve two-step equations. A two-step equation is an algebra equation that, quite frankly, takes two steps to find your final solution. In our first example, we have 7x plus 3 equals 38. Now, in this equation, we look and we our goal is to manipulate the equation to get the x by itself. And so we look at anything that is attached to the x and we want to mathematically move it over to the right hand side. So if I look at this positive three right here, I will like to add what to the positive three to move it over to the right. I'm gonna take its inverse operation. And so the inverse operation is a negative three. So I'm gonna move the negative three and what I do on one side of the equation or the left side of the equation, I need to do to the right side of the equation. So a positive three minus three is zero. And then 38 minus three would be 35. I'm gonna go ahead and bring down my seven X. Now I have seven X equals 35. The X is still not by itself, so I need to see how is the seven attached? Well, the seven is attached by seven times X. And with the seven times X, the inverse operation is division. So I'm gonna divide both sides by seven. Right there. Now seven divided by seven is one, which leaves me X by itself with one X equals, and then I look at 35 divided by seven is five. Now the main thing that I want to look for is how do I check my work? And so over to my right hand side, I'm going to check to make sure that everything is right on track. So I take my seven, open parentheses where my variable X and where I'm gonna plug in the five, plus three equals 38. When I plug in the 5, I see that 7 times 5 is 35, plus 3 equals 38. 35 plus 3, 38 equals 38. Therefore, I know that my equation is correct. Just as a reminder, when we are solving two-step equations, we are going to manipulate the equation to get X by itself. We're going to find our solution. In this case, it was X equals five. And then we're gonna go and check our work. And we know once both sides are set equal to each other, our answer checks out and X equals five is the correct answer.